So this is literally, we just saved Burnmont then, if you really think about it. Because he's like, I turned around and act Burnmont and freaking disappeared. Which means Burnmont no longer exists, which means we just saved Burnmont. What do you think about that? And look how close the two are. I need to zoom in a little bit. I forgot about that. Because my normal cam is zoomed in on my other computer. So I'm going to have to do it again. Or do you think it should stay zoomed out? Hey, yep, okay, I've not seen you for a while. Your travels are going smoothly, I'd take it. Mm -hmm. I look on your face, I'd say maybe not, eh? Why don't you tell your auntie old phone bell about it? A rain that turns folks to stone, eh? That's a right place, I guess that it. Oh, I've got a concoction of mine that should soften the lad up and get him back on his feet. I should have the ingredients back on at all. Go take a look. That prescription you asked for was ready. Give him this and that'll be right as rain in no time. Fine. There, go on, take it. Thanks, Paul Miller. All of me medicine's special, of course, but that there's extra special. There's no doubt in my mind it'll do the trick. Extra special. Too bad we can't use Zoom. That's the only thing that sucks. Actually, hold on. Can I do this? Nope. We have to walk all the way back. To the portal. No biggie, though. Any plans for the weekend? I mowed it.
God been blessed. By the potato! Y'all have been cursed by the potato. It gives zero shits about you. There y'all are. I just knew today was the day. I've been here since dawn waiting for y'all to show up. Now pardon me for cutting to the chase. But did you get that there miracle medicine for Caraway? Oh, thank you. Thank you kindly. I just knew I could count on you. But I go tell Lavender the good news. I'll meet y'all at Caraway's bedside in a minute or two. It really makes me wonder just how long we are away. That hurt y'all got hold that there medical medicine. You really think that's something wake care away after? I don't heard about that medicine y'all got one wake care away. I just wanna say, never stop believing you come through for us, Funky. Please, we got no reason to wait any longer. We've done tried all kinds of different red bees, but not one of them made a lick of difference. I just hope this medicine's mm, what you need. Okay, sprinkle some of Palmella's prescription on Caraway's lips. Oh, my whole body is. I'll be. This is nothing short of a miracle. Get away, dang it, get away, you're awake. Caraway, do you recognize me? It's me, Lavender. Lavender, you're okay? Well, ain't that a relief. I was afeard you'd been turned to stone. Well, I was turned to stone. Everybody in town was for a while there. Yeah, but even after everybody else done went back to normal, you say sip as a bald son. Been out cold ever since. And for these fine folks there, you, sh you should have stayed that way. That's so. Not it much applies to y'all, thanks. And even now, I apologize the whole time you've been lying there, keeping that all to myself. Still, at least now he's awake, she might perk up a little. Guess I should be thankful for that. Hey, Bob, how about we have ourselves a party tonight? You know, to celebrate Caraway's getting better and all. Man, well, now, ain't that a mighty fine idea? Monkey and friends will be the guests of honor. But you better start making ready, then. Why don't y'all head up to the house and freshen up in the meantime? Party's in full swing already. Why don't y'all head on down to the herb garden and start having yourselves some fun? Food's been cooked with a touch of cayenne spice. I just know you'll love it. Hey, Frank, I know what Mary Bird Dog's big announcement is going to be. Still in love his wedding date, I'll eat my hand. Nice party's been held so great, Caraway's recovery, is that right? It's wonderful news. Where's Caraway gone and wandering off to? Nah. Better come back soon, don't want the mayor thinking he's an ungrateful wretch after his honor and done throwing this big party and all. I reckon I should start fixing to get each and I's help on the right age and all. Nah, I sure do get jealous whenever I see old deal with Lavender by his side. Man, Bird, I'll go see if he's going to make a big announcement party tonight. Be. No pie, like a great place to eat. Meet eligible bachelors. I'm gonna do my best and try to snag me a handsome prince. Dang it, boys, my sister had to go braiding herself about the place. So, immodest, like, you said, some nice man to support on paste. Hey, I'll be waiting for y'all to show up. Welcome to body. You don't do seating plans or none of that stuff around these parts. Park your butts with a fun show on down. Just one thing, though. Y'all ain't seen go any place, eh? Hey? Just hopped off without me noticing. He's still recovering at all, maybe he just needs a moment. Okay, we got to all of a sudden. I mean, he's supposed to be the star of the show tonight. Thanks to y'all, that Caraway is kid. Oh, I don't know how to repay what I owe you. Thanks for being... Now you're just being dumb, guy. Ain't eh? no way we do something like that. Shadows, I'm telling you. I done worked it all out, honey. Got your herb growing skills, don't you? 
Then you ain't tied to green thumb gods or nothing if you and Africa fair enough someplace. Also, you could still make a living. What about Irby and Pa? They'd have a hellish hard time of it if I just happened to disappear like that. Look, you want to be with Lavender, don't you? Oh, if that's what you want, you gotta stop being so dang thoughtful. All I want is to stay on as Dill's mate. That ain't too much to ask, is it? That's all you want. Why didn't you and Lavender run off together? It don't make a lick of sense. Sorry, but I can't help you, guy. Run away from my problems just ain't my style. You're just gonna stand by and watch while Lavender marries Dill? You're really gonna let that happen? Fine, go ahead and do something you'll regret for the rest of your life. <laughs> dang fool, stubborn life. Who it is? Are y'all enjoying the party? Is the food I done prepared just the most delicious thing you ever did eat? <laughs> Guess poison ain't kicking just yet yeah, then. <laughs> hey, I'm kidding. Just kidding, that's all. Which ain't to say I don't wish I'd done lace all them dishes with something good and nasty. If I'm gonna drop dead all sudden, like why I'd have to do a lot to myself. What's that? And I go back to the party. Uh, well, see, I, I ain't feeling so good. I don't rightly reckon I should be around folks just now, so uh, I'm sure y'all have plenty of fun without me. That is impeccable timing. Howdy there, just folks I was looking for. Did y'all manage to find young Caraway? That's so, this ain't ideal, I gotta say. I mean, is it really okay for me to go ahead and announce the date of Dylan Levin's wedding in Caraway in here? Huh? Aw, oh, shoot, it's that rainy cold neck. The, this rain hits. Oh no, it's the purple cloud, the same one from before! Rain, the dry rain is falling again. I might not want to be that in the stone. Right, quickly now, unless you all want to end up like Caraway. Folks, please calm down. Calm down, I say. This is just regular rain. Dang it. It ain't the same rain from before. Says you, mate. I'm not. I'll not be taking any chances anymore. Great rain. It's back. Oh my. This is just off. Come on now. We need to get inside before it's just too late. I'm gonna wait. Don't leave me all, by, all on my lonesome. <laughs> folks all done got rained on what donation going on here why won't nobody listen to me ah oh, there y'all are guess y'all thought it best to take shelter in this house too huh on that dang rain ain't showing no sign of letting up. Guess we'll just cancel the rest of the party. So, do I get an answer? I know folks feeling changed over time and, well, I already said no once, Lavender. I meant it then and I mean it now. You can ask me as many times as you like. I ain't changing my mind. Come on, Garraway, don't say that. Let's get out of this town. Let's run away together. Been studying, you know, studying your nerves. Could start ourselves a little garden of our own someplace. No, ain't gonna happen. Can't betray everybody like that. Everybody, everybody, forget everybody. Caraway, what about you? Don't you got feelings of your own? Or are you just scared? Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe you're just chicken. Well, then you'll get you know, the life of a, the life a chicken deserves. You'll be pecking away in that herb garden until the end of days. When Dill becomes mayor and I'm his wife, I'll be telling you what to do from morning till night. Hope you're ready for that. Go on home, Lavender. You'll catch a cold out here. Aw, oh, heck no. You don't tell me what to do. You go on home, Caraway. Go on, get sick of this out of you. Oof. He's stubborn as a steer, that boy. I cried for him. I got down on my knees, and, but he just won't do it. He won't leave with me. 
Uf. Oh, it's you, guys. It's a good thing I didn't leave just yet, then. I want to say thanks for one more time. You all done saved my life, and I won't never forget it. Well, I've been kind of playing long and hard about what to do, and I reckon I got no choice but to leave alone. So long, y'all. Hold on, Caraway. If it's the loan you're worried about, couldn't you and Levin to pay it back somehow? That Burdock would sort something out for you if you asked him. It may be true, but I done miss my chance now. It's already too late. Yep, I done mess up again. That's just the way I am, I guess. Oof. Dang, how did I never realize my boy had feelings for Lavender? But he wouldn't run off with her because he was too concerned about what happened to her being me, huh? Y'all have done a lot for this family, not just for Caraway, but for me too. We are much obliged. I know Caraway ain't here right now, but I promise y'all he's grateful too. Dang, y'all's travels ain't done yet, are they? This town's just a sage post, right? I hope y'all ever have a bump into my boy somewhere out there, tell him his pa's doing just fine and give him a howdy for me. I reckon we'll be seeing him here in Green Thumb Gardens anytime soon after all. Here we are, where are you okay, boy? Just, just cause it's some bust up of a girl. That just ain't right. Okay, when ever comes back to Green Thumb Gardens, I'm gonna make sure he knows it. Heard nothing from that merchant who went off to the cave at the time. We need some collapse under the weight of all that treasure dug up, huh? I wonder where this cave is. I've never been there myself, but I don't hear he's in the swamp. Yeah, no. See, this is where it talks after this, you know, you hear about the Grody Grotto and whatever. Stone tablet, eh? I was kind of assuming Carol would just follow in his old pod's footsteps and take over the Arab Garden Man town. Or does he turn off and took off in the middle of the night? No, I ain't about to start questioning his motives. He's gone and that's all there is to it. Thank never did that boy was gonna skip town anyway. Anyhow, why is our nation didn't take Lavender with him? No, Cal, Cal, we couldn't even do that one little thing for me. Yes, the no-count coward. Now we just gotta find Dill and Lavender. And the plum refuses to even show her face. I guess Caraway's coming down to give her a big old shock. Son of a gun, he ain't even here no more. And still, she still spends more time thinking about him than she does me. I was kept telling him count all the mean stuff I said. But y'all gotta understand, I was fixing him to go crazy. Turning on him like that was all I could think of. I always thought we'd end up running off someplace together. But I ended up hurting him and driving him away. Hurting him when all I wanted to do was love him. Poor Lavender. Poor Caraway. Poor both of them. Alright, who's ready to explore Grody Garden and all that? Grody Grotto, not Garden, but whatever. Alright, we're gonna go to Amberdale. Hi! You've been blessed by the potato again! No, Lucius, that's a picture. You don't eat it. He's like, well, if I can't eat it, I'm gonna leave. And he 
again. <coughs> Excuse me. The Wilted Art! Howdy, welcome to the Abgons of Wilted Art! Put a heart and soul in the ground, these are good herbs. I hope you'll like them. Oh, I bet this is where Caraway, Caraway went to. Wilted heart, showing that it was heartbroken and it's herb gone. I work like a dog from morning till night. Let me tell y'all my joints ache something fierce. I sure wish I had the boss job. All he does is chase the maids around all the dang day long. The old man who brought calamity in his wake. When he and his young companion arrived at the town, the old man told the same tale of the, t of the terrible cursed rain that had fallen on his home. Locals did not believe him. Called him a crusty old doomsayer before chasing him out of town with six and stones. And sure enough, the sky's filled with purple clouds. A dark rain began to fall, and all light and laughter vanished from that place forever. It's very tired around these bars, fanning the world over for its herbs. Whole dang town. Ain't nothing but ruins now. Sure would be nice if this place grew into a big old town someday. Cuthbert, the hero of our time. After passing through the castle gates, Cuthbert marched straight into the throne room. The king looked his visitor up and down and asked him to state his business. My name's Cuthbert, said Cuthbert. Oh, I'm the hero that's gonna save the world. Oh, the fur tato has laid down. Can you see the fur tato? You can probably just barely see in here. Uh, it's strange that happened in these parts long ago, way before I was born. This mighty great, there was this great rain scene and done turned people and animals into solid blocks of stone. The thing I can't help but wondering is what happened to the clothes. They get turned to stone too. Wow, that's the freshest, herbiest smell I've ever smelled. I'm so glad I came all the way to get here. A few days rolling around the herb beds here and rubbing them all over myself, and my sweaty stink will be gone for good. I'm fighting the ladies off with a stick. <laughs> that's a dag named disgrace. That's what it is. Messy disguise is swarping around, chasing after the maids from morning till night. I rightly know who it takes after them. Rightly know. The fellow who done set up to this herbal garden was a mighty hard worker. Wish he was still around. I know good two-bit husband could learn a thing or two from a man like that. The best herbal tea in all creation are made with herbs. Yeah, what's wrong? Dacery. Folks come from all over this world to get diced. Time was there. Time was there was another town off to the west here. Famous for growing just like this one, but things didn't go so well for folks over that place. The town kinda died. No, it ain't nothing but ruins. Ain't crazy a man could build a place like this on the profits of nothing but herbs? Uh, who founded this place must have been smarter than a snooty owl. And the founder of this air herb garden was a bachelor for all his life. He was so dedicated to his work that he didn't have time for womanizing and the like. Open um, to the items, y'all. Hang out, I gave ya. Does it get cut off? It should be perfect. Oh, it does. Okay. Easy fix. No, it's... other way. Perfect. No biggie. Why would I hate you? I need to know these things. Uh, we can get a bunny tail. We don't need one, but we could get it. For no reason other than the fact that I want it. There you go, Kiefer. Well, how the hell... Uh, I think I see the issue. Hold on. The issue isn't that it's getting cut off. It's just that the uh, 
overlay wasn't perfect. There we go. Getting that overlay on perfectly is just never good. Okay. No biggie. Easy fix. Easy life. I am one of the sisters of the Regret Rain Company of Barbara Hill. Do you like to pay a visit? Regret Rain. Ah, see what they did there. The yep, gardens are doing real good in spite of the boss is better than idle. I only hope we don't get a big old surge of visitors anytime soon. We think not want that to happen. Slime earrings? Ah, oh, it's okay. It's not like there's a whole lot going on the side of the screens anyway. It's mostly that middle that's important, so. Keeping it in the family, behind the closed door of the Bulgio dynasty. If there's one thing all members of the Bulgio clan have had in common across the generations, it's arrogance, greed, and decadence. Okay, that's three things. The only good thing anyone's ever been able to say about this family of tin pot tyrants is that, that when they lend money, they tend to forget all about it. Dang, I'm so close. Six short. The boss said I'd get a prize if I made it around the table 300 times without getting caught. I only need six more laps. Aw, oh, hey. Damn, beat the bus has been chasing me around all morning. Why did you look like you can't take it no more? I'm near about past going, boss. Don told me something interesting while he was chasing me around, though, something about a stone tablet he found. I just catch my breath and remember where he said he put it. Hold on, I need to go back and reread that. Give me a second. Funky gazes into the mirror and finds himself grinning awkwardly. Funky gazes into the mirror for no good reason whatsoever. He starts counting his beauty spots. Funky gazes into the mirror and remains transfixed for a significant period of time. Funky gazes into the mirror and finds a different face from the usual ones to hang back at him. Funky gazes in the mirror. Ah, oh, where's the other one? He sees a very tired reflection looking back at him. Anyways, like, his left side's better than his is his best side. I'm sure... I sure am a whole lot fitter since the boss started chasing me around. He likes to dress up like a street cop and chase the maze around. He's into some weird kinky shit. Mountain path near Wilted Park.
I got my uh, Twitch payout. I was shocked. Unfortunately, all that still goes towards my um, computer for now, so everything I make after this goes forward. Some kind of strange air, but its petals are giving off a gentle glow. Oh, for sure it's exciting. Welcome to Regret Rain Covenant. Where history, tradition, self-sufficiency, and independence are our washer worlds. Living self-sufficiently is far from easy. I often think we should sell herbs like people down in the valley in order to make ends meet. Lives here are very monotonous. Very little changes from day to day. I do sometimes wish I could embark on a journey such as yours. I'm asking why these graves were dug on the edge of the cliff. They were here long before I arrived. My best guess is they were buried here as some form of punishment. Only if the name is legible. It says... Caraway. Lavender. Did they end up together? Aww. Overlooking the town that they made together? Did they make it together? I doubt it. We don't give any visitors up here, you know. Hilltop Covenants aren't exactly popular with tourists after all. Still, now that you have, feel free to look around. Not that there's much, mind you. Why even make half these wells if, like, you can't do anything in them? Drawing water from the well is hard work. I sometimes wish there's a big, strong man around to help, but that would contravene the Sisterhood's policy of doing things for themselves. She said that they make soup with a little meat in it, but that is a luxury we simply cannot afford up yet. Unless meat starts to fall from the skies, of course. I'm ever so hungry. Originally from a rather wealthy family. They say when sister that I come here, though there was a certain incident, and they thought it would be bad for the best. I hear, see. And if I didn't appreciate my love of luxury back then, I certainly do now. Self sufficiently is. Well, self sufficiency is all very well and good, but surely it has its limits. If you ask me, the time has come to consider selling some of our wares we produce outside it. Sell shit to me, bitch. No, fuck you. I'll be your neck, your necks, and your panties, too. You look weary, Traveler. Would you like to stay the night? Sure! We'll go see what happened to the town later. Let's explore down here first. Now we'll see if there's anything in Grody Gardens. Or Grotto, sorry, not Gardens. Wow, we're gonna get like two things done today. 
for the past while, we've only been getting, like, one, uh, island done a day. You know, I bet Dill was a horrible, um, caretaker, like, a horrible mayor here, and shit happened, and then, yeah. I don't get not too many visitors out this way. As you were thinking there'd be town here or village or some such here, huh? Like, you'd be half right, there used to be. Time was this was a big old town, but them days are long gone. Now it's just rubble and ruins and wasteland all around. I am very curious exactly what happened. Dun 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 dun. Even the size of the town shrunk from the past to the future. Oh, there is no grotto anymore. There's a house instead! It's called La Maison Grody. I mean, we're gonna find that out in a minute. Just like a random inn in the middle of nowhere. That old good's a big drink and a big talker too. He's always yabbering on about the Almighty and the Demon King and whatnot. I keep my distance far with you. I never been on vacation. You're on vacation, huh? What is that now? You only on a journey to restore the mission piece of the world? Boy, howdy, sounds swell. So, uh, reckon y'all why I want to talk to the old fellow over yonder. He might, uh, have a few things to tell ya. Uh, yeah. It probably got destroyed. I mean, you really have to think about it. It's probably been a thousand years. Hmm? What's this? Not the one I was just talking to. I done but on, but since you ain't heard this before, I better start over. A long, long time ago, there lived a fellow named o, the Demon King, also known as Orgodemir. That no good son of a gun tried to slice the world into little pieces and shield them off in the dark, so he could make them all his own. It brought about one disaster after another, all manner of calamities. Humans disappeared and the world shattered to get dragged down into the shadows. It's downright despicable what he did. Anyway, when the Almighty got wind of what he was going on, he and the Demon King locked horns in a battle of supremacy. That shit hundreds of years. Various spirits and legendary heroes fought for the humans alongside the Almighty. The Demon King had his own army. That's who he used to cut the world into pieces, she. Was that you want to know who won? How next should I now? One guess is that both the Almighty and the Demon King use up all their strength and the battle has put both of them out of commission. That's why neither of them surround no she. It's a story, but I feel like it has some truth to the matter. Now don't you? Alright, let's go to Haven. But we should be able to get him. Like, the thing has told us several times that the cook is here. And the guide literally says he's here. <sighs> so. We're just gonna hit every location.
I feel like the, um, text got screwed up. Yeah, see? Gar hard ain't half hot. Hey, I'm melting. I swear I found a cool spot with a nice fresh breeze. Gar hard. Now that sounds like a place I live. Sounds a darn sight cooler than this all bought. Name's Goyle Dunn. It'd be super cool to see you again once I reach my new home. Well, let's go meet him and go do his little, uh, mission thing, shall we? Do the thing! Probably in the bar. TBH. Garahar, it's you, the one that told me about this place. Well, I couldn't take the heat, so I got out of the kitchen. It's the best thing I ever did. This breeze is life saving. I'm gonna give you something. Say thanks to Demon Storm. Bo -bo -bo. Picked up the end. Oh, how tasty tidbit of information. For example, on my hair, I came across a young man in Deborah to find a place where he could sing at the top of his lungs. So I heard he was on his way to some town full of machines or something. Ah, he's at Frobish. It's a plinth of an unusual size. Remove the traveler's tablet. Place the traveler's tablet. The Demon's Dome from Goyle Don. A boss is a baby Goyle. His hobby is volunteering. His title is Dabbler in Darkness. His personality, devilish. Just like his looks, devilish. I'm expecting literally no issues here. I'm detecting issues, I do not enjoy it. Just kidding. Sure, baby Goyle, you can go to the Monster Meadows. It's really funny, because if you, you can actually start to recognize locations in this game. Like where we currently are, this is the location where um, we got Wolf Boy. Uh, it's right outside. It's like that little pathway leading up into the area where we saw the wolf. Like these are all random locations. Like this here is the um, the cave right by. Um, ooh, I'm eating a warm soft peanut butter cookie. Holy crap, this thing is delicious. Eating these up for 10 seconds is the best thing in the world. But as I was trying to say, the, um, where we are currently here, this looks like it's the, um, the entrance to that mine in that, um, like the, um, the crystal mine, you know, with all the really pretty crystals. I mean, we're getting a decent experience for this, so I'm not terribly upset about fighting a lot. The only issue is it's obviously super peanut buttery, super soft, so this thing is literally falling apart as I'm trying to grab it, and I'm getting peanut butter all over my hands. 
Gets in my fingers, you stupid cookie. Well, you're not stupid, but you delicious cookie. The only issue is the dead center of it was our. It's so. These cookies are super soft to begin with. Like, the center is, like. Just barely cooked enough to be able to like hold its shape, but like it's gooey, which is so good. But when you heat that up, it becomes molten. Which tastes good, but feels horrible. No, I thought of something to make this game more interesting. I'm going to let you choose one, uh... Sorry. That was so good. I my fingers. One, um, class that I have to use. Like... Mmm, it's so yummy. Oh man, look! Gummy strawberries? Mm. Ooh, those are really good. I've never had these before. Mm. Gummy watermelon rings? Um, you want me to, like, read off all the classes? When we get to there, like, there's obviously, like, basic classes, there are advanced classes, then there are master classes. No, we need to go to Frobe. for a boy who wants to sing his heart out. Are you going to take the GLHF uh, pledge of motive? Not that it really matters. I didn't even know that was a thing, to be honest. Oh, it's at the end. Now if there's one thing I do, I love to do who who and sing up a storm. A little too walled in for me. Oh, whoa, whoa, what I would do, do, da, do for a wide open space. Baba da ba do. All right, Axel, by the way. A 
find it interesting that this game has the, um... Like, the way they do things is having, like, uh... Oh, yeah, monsters can become humans, I guess. There you are. Aha, it's you who who. You're the one who told me about this place. Baba dabba do. I do see. Look at that. He knows exactly who I am, and I am Fabba dabba do. The heavy metal hole. You just noticed? I mean, I noticed when it switched, so... You don't know if I did or didn't. Bite me. Why would I? You weren't paying attention. I'm not gonna just always give you the answer willy-nilly. I just wanted to see how long it would take you to notice, that's all. I bet you have nothing else to achieve on this channel, though. For a while. Okay, bit badges, yes. Which, by the way, we need to figure out what we want to put for that badge and the emote. <laughs> Oh wait, you said you had an idea, so... By the way, it's absolutely insane just how uh, quiet my new computer is. It's just like, my old computer is just like, you turn it on, it's just like... A my new computer is just puttering around, just like... The beast of a pewter.
Of all the people to get fizzled, it's the one that uses magic. Funky learns no abilities, cause he's a dumb boy. Time it is. Time for us to go home, go to bed, and then go to the next island. Yo, what's up, Ash? How you do? Uh, 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 uh. 